I think it's a, a core to this. We can't have a major university that doesn't have a, a global outlook for what they're doing become uh, a global village. You can get uh, stuff as easy uh, from one country to the other, and we got to realize that a lot of uh, work has gone on with uh, international companies. Almost all my agricultural chemical companies now have headquarters in Europe. Uh, so we can't ignore the fact that the United States is an island by itself, and so and part of our job, I think, is to let our students know that there's a tremendous amount of um, opportunities in the world other than what they see on TV and what they experience here. So part of the, the, the strategic plan is to make LSU truly a global university. And to do that, we have to make sure that our students have exposure to other cultures, other languages, other parts of the world, and not just, again, what they see on TV and then get, get, get necessarily get off the internet. So part of our activities is to do just that, get our students out of uh, Baton Rouge, out of South Louisiana, and into uh, uh, into different settings. And uh, many of our activities are geared just toward that. Uh, our students come here. They uh, uh, they get a they have a few international faculty members. But most of them are, are people that look, act, and think like they do. More we can get. Uh, people to looking different. I was in the Ukraine a number of years ago after they got their independence uh, from the old Soviet Union. And it was interesting the discussions I had with the faculty at the university, and it was a national university, a national agriculture university of the Ukraine, uh, was that they, um, they were very concerned that they were not, in our minds, considered to be Russians. They were very interested in the fact that they wanted, they wanted a peaceful relationship. They, they wanted to, to learn, and we have a lot of faculty and exchange programs. So part of what we're doing is helping people to understand that regardless of language and regardless of culture, we're all kind of a lot alike. And despite all the clashes we've got going on in some parts of the world right now, that when you get down to the, to the people, that uh, we're, we're all, we laugh, cry, we do things together, and so forth. So it, and that's sometimes you as students have to experience that. I don't have it up here now. I used to have a card that uh, one of my faculty painted for me, uh, an artist, a three by five, five by seven card. Basically says you haven't lived and you saw the sun come up on the other side of the earth. And I think there's a big message in that, that we've got to make sure that we understand that uh, the sun does shine in places other than the United States. And the more we can understand and get our students to understand, then I think it broadens their base to under, for national understanding of why we have issues in certain parts of the world when we understand the culture and, and so forth. And um, uh, and not be as, um, I guess, arrogant that we, we have a, everything cornered here in the United States. There's two things I wish I could, I could, if I was the king and ruler of the world, I would do is require all of our students to do an internship and all of our students to do an international experience. If they could combine those two, I, think I, would, so I think the more we can get students the experiential base you know, we all can see anything we want on the internet, on the TV, and then for more stuff than we really want to see. But until you've experienced someone's a relationship with someone in their country, their language, and their culture, uh, National Geographic, nice pictures, but it doesn't it doesn't substitute for the for the real for the real thing. So uh, that's one thing I think. The more we can get students to do those and get those experiences. So what we're trying to do is to make it easy. We're providing some scholarships. So students can help pay for offset some of the expenses when when they go to another country. Um, we've got a trip going to Nicaragua coming up um, in spring break. We're taking students there. We want to do more of those, and um, the more we can get the students out. The students that I've encountered who've left LSU and went on international experience and have come back are changed. They have a different view of themselves. They have a different view of the, of the world. They have a different view of, the, of their experiences. You know, they, they, they develop an even greater appreciation for this country they live in, but they also develop appreciation for the fact that people in other cultures uh, you know, are there that, that they can relate to. So